the Python programming for juniors, right? Okay, okay, good. So, <clears throat> so first of all, I'll, I want to understand what do you understand by programming? So what do you understand by programming? Fine, uh, no worries. So that is what we are going to cover in this course. And uh, I think, yeah, Ishan, you said you have done AI course, no? Yes, sir. Yeah, so I think you have done some, some level of programming in that, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, so yeah, so the programming, uh, I think all of you have done some or other programming, but you really don't know what exactly is programming, correct? And why do we do programming? Right? Okay. So, <clears throat> so uh, I'm sure you, uh, you all uh, use mobile apps, uh, especially games. Do you use uh, uh, some games? Do you, you, do you play some games on mobile app or do you play some games on the computer or do you access applications on computer? What, what all do you do? with respect to computer or mobile? I access the applications on my laptop. Which application do you access? Uh, mostly like uh, the general apps. General apps? Yeah, like uh, playgrounds, the Swift okay. playgrounds. Which playground? Swift playgrounds, it's an Apple coding. I mean, it's a oh my goodness so you are a mac os uh, developer yes. no oh. not an, not exactly like a developer but then like i kind of you know just go on google and search for any kind of coding and then i do it oh my goodness that's uh, so so i'm sure that's fantastic actually uh, you said swift playground and i'm uh, i'm so happy that no you are uh, are doing something on Swift Playground, right? And it's so nice uh, interface for you to program, no? You just write code and then you can start seeing the output on the side, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, so that is a very nice programming environment. Okay, excellent, Livtree, excellent. So uh, now, now you know that, right? Uh, the code which you write using Swift, uh, uh, where do you use that? Yeah, like I don't exactly uh, like practice it, but then it's like if I'm getting too bored, then I just pick it, pick something up and I start doing it. Either on MIT or Scratch or Playgrounds. Okay, okay. Okay, great. So actually uh, Swift is used to develop uh, apps for iPhone, right? Yes, Swift sir. is used to develop apps for iPhone as well as it is used to develop apps for your Macintosh computer. Okay, yes, so sir. Apple uh, Mac computer. Okay, so that's, uh, so now we were talking about what is programming, right? And you have actually given very advanced answer, uh, Devishri, that <laughs> saying that you are using Playground. The programming is basically creating these kind of applications or these kind of games, okay? Now, by when you code that, right, uh, you put put in some logic, and that's what you get. And then users can use it. So anything which you create, any software system or game, there is a purpose to it, right? That's why we do programming, correct? Right. So okay. So tell me what other programming environments? Uh, I'm say, what other things uh, have you used on computer or internet? Hey, Partha, I'm not able to see you. Is your camera working? Hey, Ankush? Okay, okay, Ankush, uh, I'm not able to see you. So I'm just going to, can I rename it? Yeah, I can rename to Ankush. Okay, good. Okay, Ankush, so, uh, so what all have you done uh, as far as uh, 
so we we were talking about you know the context what we are talking about right uh, ankush yes so python okay, we are trying to yeah we are oh yeah so python we will come a bit later but before that we have to understand what exactly is programming okay so programming is you do programming to build systems software systems right and we just uh, figured out that uh, games uh, games and apps mobile apps for that matter they are actually software systems and they are actually programs what other software systems do you know or do you interact with Do you access any websites? Yes, sir. Like Zoom, Teams, and all. So you use Teams and Zooms? Okay. From school. Oh, from school you use. Okay, yeah. So Zoom is another application. It lets you video conference, oh, right? My mic. So some developers actually build it. Hey, Vivaswan. Hi. How are you? Fine. And uh, fun. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. And is your camera working? Can you switch yeah, it on? I'm ready. Yeah. Hey, Vivaswan. Long time. How are you? Okay. Okay, good, uh, Vivaswan. So I. Uh, I got to know that you were able to install Python on your computer. Python is working. PyCharm is not working, right? Okay, good, good. Okay, so that's uh, nice. And happy Independence Day to you, Vivaswan. You too. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we were just talking about, uh, we just started the class, okay, we just started the discussion. So we were just talking about what exactly is programming, okay? So uh, can you uh, also participate that, no, we were just trying to figure out and so far we understood that programming is like creating software systems and software systems can be your games, your mobile app or even Teams and Zoom. Basically a command. Basically, a it's basically, it's basically like sending commands to electro electronics. Okay, okay. Yes, basically it is sending instructions to computer and the computer is combination of lot of electronics, right? So, and other than that, uh, like uh, as, uh, uh, as Ankush said, that no, he's using Teams and Zooms, and there are so many websites. Do you know there, there is a website, uh, uh, Book My Show, or uh, Twitter, or Facebook? These are all websites, right? So now, uh, how did they came into picture? Some developers, some developers uh, uh, who are expert in programming, they have created these software systems, okay? And that's how we are able to connect to our friends, we are able to connect to different people, right? We can book uh, uh, movie tickets on Book My Show. We can book uh, uh, train tickets if we go to IRCTC, right? We can book flight tickets all by sitting at home, right? All these are software systems. But these uh, systems which I'm talking about is Book My Show or your uh, IRCTC. They're, they're, web, uh, they're web systems, web applications. Okay, or websites, right? So these are all uh, behind all these things. There are lots and lots of programs which have been written. Okay, so now, <clears throat> now we will, so that is what is programming. And then uh, we will just get on to what exactly is uh, Python. Okay, so now, <clears throat> so any, so I got to know, from others that nobody has uh, has got a chance to interact with Python. Uh, how about you, Vivaswan? Had did you had any chance interacting with Python? No. No. Okay. Okay. Fine. Uh, great. Uh, no problem. So we will, that is what we will, we are going to do it in today's class. We will just get started with uh, 
Python and then we will write some program. Okay, some simple program. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so now today's class, we are just going to look at introduction to Python. Right, so and it has to load. Okay, okay, so now, <clears throat> so you know this gentleman? This gentleman is the creator of Python programming language, okay? And uh, Python is world's most popular programming language at, at the moment, right? This person's name is Judo Van Rossum, okay? This is a gentleman, he created long back in 1991. He's from Netherlands and over the last 30 years, Python has grown like anything. There are a lot of uh, community involved, a lot of people who are using Python now, okay? So it's a very pop popular programming language. It is used to do host of things, right? So as we discussed, uh, what are the host of things? Basically, you can use Python to create web applications. You can use Python to create games, okay? You can uh, use Python for artificial intelligence, and there is something called machine learning, right? Uh, then there is server-side programming, okay? So there are a lot of things you can do with Python, and that's why it has become very, very powerful, okay? And uh, there's a lot of community behind it, and a lot of people use it, right? So now just to uh, make sure that all of you have your environment ready, why don't you just start your uh, Python uh, shell, okay? So to start with, you just have to go to your uh, command, uh, basically you, you have to open the command prompt, okay? So now command prompt, uh, uh, you know what is command prompt or DOS prompt? No? Okay. Uh, what's a command prompt? Okay, so basically you just, uh, there's, a, there's a search uh, box at the bottom of your computer screen on the left side, just type CMD there. Okay. I'm in Python right now. Oh, you, you already have Python uh, running? Python yeah. shell running? Yeah, yeah. Good. So uh, all of you uh, have this kind of Python shell running where I can say two plus three, it gives me five or I can uh, multiply anything or I can do any mathematical operations or different operations. Is, can you just start? Your... There, so there's something on top of it, right? Like Python okay. 3.8 uh, tags. Yes. Uh, something yes. Very like good, that. very good. Okay, so uh, uh, so Ishan, is uh, Python running for you? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So can you just uh, type 2 plus 3 and see what do you get? Is it giving you result back 5? Yes, one second, sir. Yeah. How about you, Devashri? Is Python running for you? So it's, uh, yeah, yes, it's running. Very good. And Ankush? Is Python yes, running for you? It's running for you? Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. So that's uh, that's very good. Okay. So now we are sure that uh, Python is working for all of you. Now, so Python, Python is, is another programming language, but Python is also, uh, there is something else which is also called Python. Can you tell me what, what exactly it is? Can you tell me what is Python? If I search Python, okay, if I search Python in this, see what so you it's a big snake. Yeah, it's a snake. See, this is Python snake, okay, deadly snake, right? Now this is not this is not the Python which I'm we are going to talk about. We are going to talk about Python programming language. Okay. Now this person who uh, invented Python named this programming language Python because he was fond of a show called Monte Python Flying Circus. Behind that he has named it. He did not name it because he was fond of the snakes. Okay. He named this language behind 
this show which he was fond of okay so that is what is a python we are going to learn about okay now <clears throat> okay so there is a, this is a simple program which you can write just by write, writing two lines you can print a table of any number okay i'm sure uh, divishri would be knowing how to print a table of numbers on playground divishri you know that no uh, sir i just started like with simple coding not like okay 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 got it got it okay anybody else has tried uh, any program to print table of 7 or any table no you have done it ishan what do you mean so table of a number a, so this something called k turtle so that they uh, he that uh, there's some uh, turtle on the middle and when you write type uh, some uh, print uh, stuff they it will draw print it okay it will print it okay 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 uh, good good so so that's fine okay now <clears throat> coming to uh python program now python can be actually run once one of the reasons why python is very popular is because you run once and you can run anywhere when i say anywhere you can run it on any operating system okay now now you know that there are different operating operating systems out there uh, windows is one of them what are the other operating systems Arduino. Arduino is not an operating system; it's an application. Any other operating system, you know? Hey, Ankush, I'm not hearing you, nor I can see you. Are you there? Yes, sir, I'm there. I'm here only. So, Ankush, what is operating system? Sir, operating system. so operating systems are like so if you give some information they'll find it you give some information then it finds us are you talking about search system search engine you know which is a which is a popular search engine can so, anybody tell what do you said ankush did you say something so google very good yeah google is the world's most popular search engine right okay so no but we are talking about operating system okay and we said that windows is one of them what are the other operating systems okay so other operating systems are mac okay mac is where which is which comes with apple machines okay you have a question ishan so not a question so i want to see more uh, operating systems yeah okay tell sir so, uh, so, uh, some of them are windows mac ios android os chrome os and um, linux hmm okay okay very good very good so that's uh, super so that's a very good list now can you uh, can you tell me what is the purpose of uh, operating systems what is the purpose of operating system okay so you know that uh, all these uh, the computer or this phone which you get actually pretty much it's hardware okay it's hardware it has if you don't install any software on it it is as good as dead isn't it correct hardware you cannot just simply use it like that right so now you have to have some software running on those hardware so that you are able to use it okay so operating system is such software so operating system is is an interface between the user which is us and the hardware okay so like for example you start typing anything on the keyboard and and those text starts coming up on the monitor 
all that is done by the operating system. If you, if you have to use the camera, you just click a button and then the camera starts working. Okay, that's again part of operating system. Operating system lets it, uh, makes it easy for us. Okay, so like that, you need operating system to access anything on your computer or your phone, right? On your phone to start camera, you, you know, you start the camera app and the camera app actually starts a physical camera, which is part of that phone. So all that is done by operating system. Okay, got it? Now we have different type of operating systems, some like Windows, some like Mac, like I like Mac, so I, I use Macintosh operating system. Then some people have iPhone, some people have Android phones, all of that, those are different operating systems, depending on the people uh, choice. And all these operating systems differ by their look and feel, the way they work, but pretty much they let you access the hardware and the files which are stored on your device, okay? So that is what is operating system. So Python, you write Python uh, at one place and then you can run on different operating system. Even you can run uh, Python on iOS or Android, okay? Including your Mac and Windows, okay? Now, let's see where, why we are learning Python here, why we are doing class on Python, because of this reason, you see that? This is basically the popularity chart of programming languages, okay? Now these, these are the different programming languages. Now look at this and identify and tell me which all you have heard or you know about it. Sir, I have heard of Python, Java and Swift. Okay, Swift is there in the list, see? Right, it's- I have heard of Python, Java and C++. Okay, okay, C, C++, right, right. How about you, Ishan? Sir, uh, I know Python, uh, Java, JavaScript, and uh, C, and that C++. Oh my goodness, you know quite a bit. How about you, Ankush? I heard of Python, Java, JavaScript, and hmm. C, C++. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, so, so now we have seen that Python and Java pretty much are similar kind of programming languages. They are used to create application software, the server side code, even games, okay? And even mobile apps. You know, Java is used to create mobile apps. You know which mobile apps it is used to create? Your Android mobile apps are created by Java. Java is used in creating Android mobile apps. And uh, can you tell me what uh, you use to create uh, iOS apps, iPhone mobile apps? What, what are the programming language you use? Sir, Swift. Yes, very good. It is Swift. And before Swift, it was Objective-C, which was used, right? Now, you see there's so many different uh, programming languages, but exactly what is a programming language? So exactly what is programming language? Okay, so, okay, forget about programming language. Uh, what all languages do you know? I'm sure you know English language, right? Yeah, other than English, what else do you know? Sir, I know English, Hindi, Kannada, Marathi, I know. Marathi oh, okay, also. You, you are multilingual, superb. Uh, so, right. Yeah, friend is so, I know English, but, Hindi, and a little bit of Spanish. Even Spanish? Yeah, a little bit, like, just oh, for... Very, very nice, very nice. 
right so uh, so so see we use these languages to converse between human beings right i don't know spanish but i know english and i know hindi so you can talk to me in that language right so these are the languages which we use for conversation between human to human but when it comes conversation between human to computer we need to use programming language okay so programming language lets us talk to the computer okay right so that's what is programming language and when you're talking to the computer you have to type you have to write or you have to say things in the way which computer will understand right like for example if divishri starts talking to me in spanish i wouldn't know i'll get i'll get stumped right because i don't know spanish so if with python we start to uh, talk in english language like for example if i this is my python shell and i say hey python get me a pizza what will python say what will python say hey invalid syntax i don't understand what you're saying right so we have to uh, talk in the language in which uh, python can understand so if we say to python in the language which it understands like this right then it will uh, understand something and it will do something because that's how we are talking to python that's how we are talking to the computer right through this programming language right so now these programming languages you use to converse with the computer but you have to write the code or you have to write things in the way computer understands correct is it clear so that is what is uh, what is programming language now you guys told me so many programming languages now can you tell me what is purpose of javascript no idea i think ishan knows right so ishan what is the purpose of javascript i know what java does but i don't know what javascript does sir okay 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 tell me what java does sir uh, java is a pro uh, programming language to use to um, make uh, apps especially for android phones hmm 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 okay right yes so java is used for android apps java is also used on server side programming we will just discuss what is server side okay uh but javascript is used on the web websites javascript okay it's a it's also called client side scripting code or client side programming language okay now uh, now what is client and what is server let's check that okay what is client and what is server so what is server in your mind so at a place where all the data is stored like the google server like the google server okay okay uh, yeah it's just not about the data so you see this you can see this diagram right so this is the server okay server is located somewhere in the internet internet is also called cloud you would have heard about this things right i am sending data to cloud right so cloud is nothing but the internet okay so these clients and this is your computer laptop or mobile connects to the server through the internet okay now what happens is let's say if you need some general information or some you need to do something like no let's say you have to book a movie ticket correct you cannot uh, book a movie ticket uh, just 
by accessing your phone, right? You have to connect to some service which provides a way to block the seat for you, right? So for to connect to those services, like for example, book my show, book my show will be running a server, okay? And then from clients, when you connect to that server and you say, okay, book me a ticket, then the server will connect to that movie theater uh, movie theater again it will be another server and it will block your ticket there so server is actually not only storing data but it's also helping you with some service some activity some things a google server it is used for what What is Google server used for? Uh, sir, if we search anything for Google, uh, like anything on Google, example, Wikipedia. So uh, the all the uh, information from that website is stored in the server. So after mm -hmm. it searches the same thing and then it, uh, the input of the uh, the output of the server is on our like the screens of the devices mm, very good yeah so that's uh, that's a very right answer so google is providing us the search service and when we are searching something you no know, google provides us the answer and it's the biggest search engine which is available to us and you can ask any question mostly it will have answer okay and uh, uh, that it is doing not just because it has all the information. It does have all the information. It has saved all that information in the server, but it's also processing your request, right? First of all, when you type, hey, Google, uh, can you tell me uh, like uh, which, uh, who is the prime minister of, uh, of UK or England, right? Or who is the president of uh, United States? So Google has to first of all understand what you're saying, right? And then it has to find the information and then it has to send it to you, right? So along with the data, server also does a lot of processing, understanding your request, finding the relevant answer, and then re responding to your request, okay? So request, it accepts and response, it gives it to you, okay? So that is what is server. And these are the clients, clients is, our computer or the laptop through which we connect to the server through internet. Okay, so that is what is server and client. Now, as you said uh, that uh, Java is used for that. Yeah, of course, Java is also used to create server side applications. Python is also used to create server side applications. So once you learn these programming languages, you will be also able to create servers yourself right okay so moving on now you see that no uh, this is the world's popularity index of different programming languages and you can see that no python at the moment is at the top of the list okay is the most preferred programming language most popular programming language now uh, can you tell me what could be the reason Uh, so because of its simplicity very good yeah that is one of the primary reasons because of its simplicity right and uh, that is one of the primary reasons what could be the other other reasons so like it is easy yeah it is easy that's what uh, divashi said it is simple and it is easy to use uh, uh, what else could be? But if something is very easy, will the why will it? Uh, is that only the reason it will become uh, very popular? Would that be the only reason it will become very popular? If something is very easy, right? So what what could be the other reason? Other reason is Python is very powerful. Okay. It is very powerful and with very easily you can write a lot of good code. Okay, I'm going to just show you some of the code which we create as part of Python programming course. Okay, 
so you see uh, uh, there is a game which uh, i have we have built in the previous classes and can you tell me which game is this which game is this it's that snake game yes it's a snake game and as the snake is getting to eat the food it is becoming energetic and it is going so fast and my score is also increasing I'm, I'm pretty bad at this i'm sure you guys will do much better in this game this is one of the games which have been created by python and people have created lots and lots of very complicated game as well like mario okay uh, like zelda people are creating this must be over f this must be over 40 years old if this really is made from nintendo this game is really 40 years old that's what you're saying no the code the python code like python, how old is it python python is uh, yeah i'm saying python programming is pretty old but yeah, i'm saying what i'm saying is uh, using python you can create this kind of game okay now if you look at uh, this game again this is used this is basically created by python okay and let me run this Sir, is it the code or are you lagging? Yeah, so this is available. So Python can be used to create these things. Okay, so this is something which we again do now. There is uh, another application of Python, which is your server-side program. Uh, have you guys interacted? I'm um, sorry. Have you guys gone to ATM? Do you know what is ATM? Right? Have you have you been to ATM? Okay. So it, automatic teller machine, right? So this is uh, code which is created to create the banking system okay so enter your account and enter your okay this is a wrong id so i have to run this again because it's not correct so this is my account number and this is my pin okay and it gives me these options to do various things right i can actually uh, check my balance okay what is my balance i can see okay my balance is 9200 okay and then to i can withdraw some money from it i can i can say okay option two withdraw okay enter the amount that you want to withdraw so let's say i want to withdraw 5000 rupees okay so withdrawal successful remember to collect your cash now let let's see we have uh, not taken out 5000 rupees so what should be the balance available now in the bank so 9200 minus 5000 let's see what is the balance so let me i will just check the balance okay so i just press 4 and actually i, I think i have changed the code so that's why it's a little bit uh, not working so so yeah so probably the text file or something Okay, yeah, there's a gap here. So because of that, it's, it's crashing left, right, and center. So let me just run again. So yeah, so this is my account number and this is my password. And I want to check the balance, which is option four. So see, we withdrew 5,000 rupees from 9,200. It has come down. I can see that this is the balance. So this, this is a basically a simple version of the software which you can find running on the ATM, ATM machines, right? 
So this is, again, this, this is basically a, a banking system which you create, you can create using Python, right? So that is another purpose of Python, how we use it, okay? So uh, Python can be used for various different things. And one of the main reason why Python has become very popular is because it has lots and lots of libraries for artificial intelligence. Right? So artificial intelligence is something which we impart the intelligence to the machines, right? So Python lets it, lets uh, creating those artificial intelligent robots or even a chatbot, okay? Chatbot, all those things, very easy for us uh, because it has a lot of libraries for AI, okay? And you can see that you now Python is becoming popular slowly and steadily, right? It is going, it's gaining popularity over the time. It has become so popular, right? So now, uh, right. So and, and who uses uh, Python? Uh, some of the big companies uh, which uses Python, it is, uh, do, do you identify this company? Google, of course, you know, Facebook, you know, do you know Spotify? Okay, okay. And how about uh, uh, Uber? Uber, I'm sure you know, right? Right. So pretty much actually, uh, uh, you name any company, you know, Instagram or LinkedIn or any, any company and every company, they are actually using Python. And that's how Python uh, developers are in a lot of demand okay they have a lot of work for them okay and these are the different things for which python has been used is being used is basically simple scripting uh, web development right so web development by i said the server side coding and we discussed what is server side right you if you want to create a server like book my show you can use python for that right then desktop uis you can create gui program you know or desktop ui for yourself okay and uh, some uh, mathematic uh, mathematics uh, project you can use scientific calculations machine learnings all that for all that python is being used right so 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 far so, uh, so far so good is it all clear or do you have any question no okay good okay so now so i was telling you right uh, so so there is a basically this is this is why python this is how python programmers do their job right so do you do you know this story can you see and can you tell me if you know this story you know that Yeah, you have heard, heard you have heard the story of Thirsty Crow, correct? Yes. Right. So now this is the version which we have heard, right? Uh, this is a smart crow who is thirsty, and he drops stones so that the water level comes up, and then he can drink the water. Okay. This is this is a non-programmer way. If somebody who does not know programming, he would do something like this. But if you, no, you just created a meme, we can see that. Yeah, yeah. You can create, sorry, come again. You can create a meme. You just created a meme. Basically, it's like trying, it's like using the uh, scenes, pictures from other uh, movies and all that. So hmm. make it, uh, to make it understandable and funny. Yes, yes. So that is what, uh, we should do right we have to make things very interesting and we have to put it in the context right this is the non-programmer why this is a non-programmer's way why we are saying that no he is doing because he's doing a lot of manual labor right like for example if you have to uh, do a lot of uh, summation right right you have to do a lot of accounting one way to do is you write it in the paper and pen and you start adding those numbers correct 
that is one way second way is you can uh, probably go to your spreadsheet your excel or something right or you write a program to do something to do your your addition you can just read a excel file and you can just do the addition this is how the programmer will do okay and this is the way how python programmer will will do things he will use programming but uh, why he is able to do it because python is actually very powerful and intuitive easy to understand okay so that's why he's just relaxing and is doing his job getting his job done in a very easy manner okay so that is what is uh, the story tells us about right now we basically what we will do is we'll write some program some code okay so on on your python shell let's as a ritual always whenever you're learning any programming language you have to say hello okay you have to say hello world or we will say hello python so go to your shell and write hello python program i'll just give you 2 minutes for that okay just write this code and run it and see you if you are getting hello python go to your python shell and you do it Sir, hmm. yeah. sir, like, sir, like my mobile size is very less. Sir, it's only like some three percent. Okay, you can put it on charge. Okay, sir. Okay. So just let me know once it works for you. Working for you, Ishan. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. How about you, Vivaswan? Sir, even for me, it worked. No, okay. it didn't. It did not. It did not work for you. Uh, okay. Like, what were you supposed to do? Were you supposed to write print bracket hello Python? Yeah. Okay. but there is something which is very important which is the quotes you have to make sure you are using the quotes this is single quotes is what we are using why are you thank you is it working for you how about you devishri yes sir it's printing hello python very good very good Okay, so all of you start your pie charm as well. Uh, yeah, start your pie charm. Oh my God! So, do we have to do the same command on pie charm also? Yeah, that that was the next task which I was going to give you. So, but I'll just tell you. So, you, once your PyCharm is open, you just go there, and I, I'm. I hope you have already created my project directory. So, you just right-click on my projects directory, okay, and then you say Python package. You click on Python package. Once you click, it will give you a pop-up, and you just have to write the name of the package or the folder you want to create. So, I'm just going to say session. One, 
Okay. So once you say session one, then you click on OK, and this is something you will get something like this: the folder. Once you go there, and then you again right click on the folder. Okay, and then you say Python file, and now you say hello Python. Okay, just hello py hello underscore Python. You just enter, and this one, this one, and then this. This is how it will create, okay? And we have to write the same command there, okay? Mm -hmm. To run the same command. To run, you have to right click on this window. You just come, right click on this window and you say run hello Python. So you have to do, you all have to do this on PyCharm as well, except for Viverswan because Viverswan does not have PyCharm. Uh, My Python is broken. Your pie charm is broken. No, my is charm is broken. I've hmm. been trying to type the same thing you've been typing. It just doesn't work. Just can you copy and uh, uh, paste the code in the chat? So there's a you just go to the Zoom chat and you paste it there. So, so the pie charm is not opening because it wasn't downloaded from the App Store. For your own Mac. Yes. Okay, okay, no, you can actually, uh, no problem. So you can install PyCharm a little later. Just go to the browser and then from there you can install PyCharm. It's very simple, even though I have given instructions to do that, but just type on Google, you just type PyCharm download. Okay, and you get this. And so it will take you to this link. You click on this link. And I think you have done the same thing, right? And then you download the community version, okay? Not this version, professional version will be paid version. We don't want to use it for learning purpose. We want to download from community version. But I think uh, for you, once you're clicking it, it is saying that because since it is not inst installed from App Store, you cannot start it. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I think you have to enable the security. So for that, you yeah, can do... I tried to do that, but then it's still not. It's okay, already to... says that it's from un unidentified developers is also allowed in this. Okay, but you installed from this place only, right? If you remember yeah. from JetBrains. Yeah, I downloaded long back ago. Okay, I think if you go to this uh, security, then you can actually try uh, doing it. Maybe you can, it, it comes some, something like this, and then here you can click OK, and then it should allow you to do it. Uh, but no worries, if PyCharm is not working, we can make it work a uh, little later. But for all of you. Father, maybe for a little help after the class. Yes, we will help you after the class. And uh, Vivas one, uh, just type, just copy and paste your code in the Zoom chat, and then I can tell you, okay, what is going wrong there. Okay, and Ankush, you so can... Now it's only... Uh, but, uh, I already, now it works. Now it works. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, very good. So now, uh, uh, Ankush, you can start your PyCharm and write this uh, Hello Python program in PyCharm as well. Okay, but now... For, it came for me. Hello Python. Okay, Hello Python. You, you, you were able to do it, and but you have to do it on PyCharm also now. You yes, do, sir. Sir, I did it on PyCharm only. Oh, you did it in PyCharm only. Okay. So PyCharm is one way to run your command. But other way is through the shell. Okay. Shell is again a quick way to test out anything. But when you're writing any programs, you will write it on PyCharm. But uh, shell is also like as a Python developer, you should keep keep it running so that uh, anything you want to try it out, like you know, if I want to... Uh, Try any function like no uh, power function. I want to try like uh, I can just test it out. Okay, power function works like this. Okay, uh, right. And and other way, anyway, you know that there is ideally to run it. But yes, one more interesting way is if you go to uh, Python dot org. Even on this browser, you have this. Python shell available. You can actually go there, click on this, 
and actually you get the interactive shell even on python.org and this is the official website of python python.org okay so once it, it opens up you can write code on this also okay so here also you can write anything okay so i'll go there like actually I'm, I'm doing in a mobile i'm doing the coding in a laptop uh, you're doing the all of us are using laptop only okay so that's what uh, you all can try out okay okay now what we will do is we will just take a quick break of uh, five minutes and we will come back at uh, 12 12 okay 12 12 we will come back just go have some water and uh, let's meet at 12 uh, 12 exactly after five minutes okay Okay, so now we are going to write our first Python program, okay, which will do something, right? So, <clears throat> uh, we'll just wait for a minute. Uh, Divyashri, Ankush, you're there. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, can sir. Can I Okay, okay, good. So you can switch on your cameras. Now, uh, we are going to write our first Python program, okay, which will be to calculate area of a circle, okay, right? So now, since uh, so, those of you who have your PyCharm running. You can just go and uh, right click on your session one and then say new python file and python then, or pycharm yeah if you have pycharm running you can do it if you don't have pycharm i will tell you another way just in a moment okay Sir, i got the pycharm running oh very good very good so you can just launch pycharm create session one uh, folder which you can create by right clicking on my projects and say new Python package, and then here you type session one. Okay, so this is what you can do, and then it will create session one folder, and then you right click on this, create new Python file, and you say area, area of circle. Okay, is this much? Hit enter, and you should get this file. Okay, you should get this file. And then you have to write the program for area of circle. We will go step by step how to write it. Okay. Uh, now I'll just uh, tell Vivaswan how to do it. So, so Vivaswan, uh, see the thing is you can uh, uh, write your program in a text file also. But today you can write it in your text file. Or you can what you can also do. There is something which comes with Python. It's called Ideally. Okay, Ideally. So I'm just going to use Ideally. You can just search for uh, so first one. You can just search for Ideally, and then this shell will open. Okay, this is basically the same shell Python shell which you have. Additionally, what you can do is you can say new file. Okay. And here you can again write your code. Okay. Vivis one, can you hear me? Vivis one? Sir, I already have something like that, right? Yeah, you should be having this ideally. It comes with Python installation. So you can just start ideally and then there also you can just create a new file. And you can uh, write any code here. Print area of circle program. Okay. And once you've written it, you can just simply go run and uh, run. 
no. Uh, can you type it in the chat? Uh, yeah. So you have to basically go to start ideally. Okay, you start ideally and then you go and say new file. Then you can actually even save this file, save this code anywhere you want. Okay, uh, let's say you can save it on desktop. So you can say area. Boy, 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 boy. Okay, and then once you're there, then you can just click on run module five. I'll run on this. Okay, so this is another way you can write Python program. Now we have been writing program in the shell. Uh, <clears throat> so this is interactive shell, right? Now, why we are not writing the, we can actually write this area of uh, circle program in shell also. Like for example, I can say, okay, so first of all, tell me what is the formula for area of circle? It's uh, okay. So if you have a circle and if you, if you want to find the area of the circle, then the formula is pi r square. Okay. R is the radius of the circle. Right. So area is equal to pi into r into r. This is the, this is the formula. Okay. Do you understand radius, radius of the circle? What is the radius of a circle? All of you understand, right? Ankush, uh, I cannot see you, so I don't know whether you understand or not. No, sir, like my pipe cam, sir, like I'm opening it again, sir. Okay, you open it uh, again, pipe cam, but do you know area of circle? Okay, so area of circle is uh, pi into r into r. Okay, r is the radius. Okay. So and pi into radius into radius. Yeah, pi into radius into radius. That is what is area of a circle. Okay, so this is the program which we are going to write to find the area of the circle. Okay, right? So, uh, now we will basically go to our pie charm and we can, or Vivaswan, you can go to your ideally and then you can start a new file. Okay. And then let's write the area circle. Uh, code to print. Okay. Now, <coughs> so, so as I said, formula is area is equal to pi into r into r. Now, what is pi? Okay, so pi is a constant. Now, uh, can you tell me what uh, pi is a number constant? So can you tell me what is a number constant? basically a number value which does not change. So the value of pi is 3.14, okay? So this is the value, this is a constant value which you use to create, to find area of circle. So first of all, do you understand what is area? You understand the area, right? Right, so the, basically the surface it occupies the surface which area which a circle occupies is is that what we want to calculate so pi is equal to pi value is 3.14 okay now r is actually the radius and let's say the the radius uh, is basically let's say 50 okay radius of the circle now just to be clear i'll just uh, Area of circle. So basically, this is 
this is the circle this is the radius okay and uh, this what is what is this the whole of it this is actually the diameter of the circle that's what we say okay the radius is this portion and the area is actually the whole of it okay the whole surface of this right so that is what is uh, uh, the radius and let's say in this case radius is 50 okay now to calculate area we have to say area area is equal to what is the formula for area Uh, pi into r into r yes yeah, so we are going to just simply say pi and in computer in any programming in most of the programming languages the multiplication symbol is the star okay so pi into radius into radius right so this will calculate the area and it will assign the value of this area to this placeholder this variable this name which is there it will assign the value to this okay and now if we want to find what exactly is the area of the circle what should we do if you want to see what is the area of the circle what should we do we have to print it okay so you say print and you say area done this is all the formula is there and to run this, execute it, you just have to say run. Okay, so that's what we did. Okay, so this is what it is printing. Uh, rather, we'll just comment this out so that we are sure. Yeah. Fine, so this is the code which we are just going to run. Okay. And see, this is what it finds me, area of circle. Now, if you have to calculate without a program, how will you calculate, how will you find the area of circle? If, if you have to find area of circle without the program, how will you do that? Uh, calculator? Mm, one way is calculator, other ways you can also do manually, right? You can just multiply numbers after numbers, correct? So you can do that also, but here, now simply, I, if my let's say my radius is 50, so I'm getting this area. If somebody says, okay, now you find me area of circle for uh, not 50, you find me for 150. We simply just change this to 150 and then we run it and then we get the area of circle whose radius is 150 okay as soon as that don't worry about if you don't understand these lines but this is how we write the program you will understand uh, in a bit okay. you will understand in a bit so just you have to write this program okay just write this program i will give you five minutes in your pie chart and run and see if you're getting this value Okay, all of you, you should write it and uh, we was one, you can write it in the file and ideally, okay. How do you go into the ideally? Okay, you go to the search, which is there in the bottom, type ideally, okay, type ideally, mm -hmm. okay, then it should show up. Then you select that and it should open a window like this. If, where do I press ideally? Where? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, you, you have a search box, right? On the left side, left side bottom. The search that? box, left side bottom. Oh. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I will just stop the share. You share your screen and then I can tell you where, it, how do you find ideally. Uh, so rest, uh, rest uh, Ishan, Devishri and Ankush, you all should uh, write this program, area of circle in PyCharm. Okay. Clear? So is this what I should be sharing? 
Okay. Uh, no, I don't see all your screen. This is uh, yeah. This is a Python shell. This is the correct thing. Can you just uh, uh, make oh. this smaller? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Make the reverse one. Make this window smaller. Mm. Okay. I don't see your. Uh, you you are on Mac or Windows? I on Windows. Okay, just open this window program menu. No, the press the Windows button and see what what it shows up. So I think you're you're just sharing this screen. Uh, so this one you have to share the whole desktop. Yeah, give me a minute. Let's start here. Okay. Is it is it supposed to say screen, right? Yeah, screen, correct. Sure. Yeah, can you see now, sir? Yeah, I can see. Yes, exactly. So you see the search uh, icon, the second icon at the bottom left of the computer. Ah. Bottom left of the computer. Leave that window. Leave that window. Yeah. And bottom bottom uh, left of the computer, next to the Windows button. Yeah. Yeah, click on that. Type IDLE. IDLE. I click on this. Select this, yes. Select that. Yeah. Cross yeah. by soft heading. Now you go to file. File. Go to file. Click new file. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you type your code this and then you can save and then you can say run module. Okay. So now I can stop sharing. You can stop sharing, yes. Okay, so uh, Ishan, Devishri, all all is good. Ankush, you guys are able to see uh, the program and you're writing it, right? Yes. Okay, good. Is it working for you? Excellent. Okay, just yes, try, sir. Just try to change the radius to. Uh, so what? What code should we write? The code right? is there on my screen. You can see that. Just try to change the radius to two fifty and see what is the value you're getting. Can you tell me the value? I. Can you tell me the value, Ishan? Sir, um, uh, it's a uh, one hundred and ninety six thousand two hundred and fifty. One hundred ninety six thousand two hundred and fifty. Okay. This is the one. This is what you're getting. Let's run and see. Yes, you're getting the right value. Okay. Huh? Good. So your program is correct. How about you, Ankush and Devishri? Yeah. I'm doing it. Okay. And uh, Ishan, you can also try opening ideally and see if things are working for you. And then you can also write the program there also and see what works. How are you? How are you supposed to run it? So there is a, a menu, run menu. So once you are there in the file, they even I got the answer. The wish you got the answer. So you say run module, okay? We were run. Say run module, and that's how you should get it. You can, and you can save your file also. In a folder, you can create a folder for your programs and you can run it there. Okay. Okay, good. So Divyashree has also got the answer. How about you, Ankush? Even, so I only told that time that I got answer. Oh, you got the answer. Okay. I also got the answer. 
Sir, I'm trying it right now. Okay, no problem. You can try it out. So, Ankush and Ishan, you can also try it on uh, on the ideally window. Okay, so that you are comfortable with different environments where you can run Python code. Sir, I got the answer and it is correct. Very good, very good. Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, so super. How about you? So you also got it right. Uh, the first one, you got it right. Okay, uh, fine. So we will actually. Yes, uh, sir. I did get it. Okay, so now the thing to understand here is we wrote this program okay what are we trying to achieve by writing this program area of circle what are we trying to achieve why are we writing this program area of circle uh, so to make it easy to calculate the area of a circle very good excellent yes so these programs solve some problem okay so the program which we just wrote is solving a problem of finding area of a circle okay you can make this program more intelligent you can you can basically give it an option to take take the input from the user like the user can uh, tell okay give tell me the area of circle for uh, uh, 250 or 1000 or 550 you can do all that so this area of circle is a small program which is but it is doing something mean, meaningful it is finding as the area of the circle right like that you can actually create a module where you can write areas of different figures right like area of a rectangle or a triangle or a pentagon or a polygon right you can do all that you can also use programs to write to calculate volumes you know what is the volume of a cube Okay, so volume of a cube and what is cube first of all? Sir, it's a 3D square. Yeah, 3D square. Very good. Yeah, something like Rubik's Cube. Anybody of you uh, plays with Rubik's Cube? Sir, me. Vivaswan uh, does. I know that. Right, Vivaswan? Sir, I used to. Now, now oh, I stop? Okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, that is one of the cube and if you have to find the volume then you can write a program for that as well so that's what we are doing so so programs lets us solve some problem okay and we just create created one like that we can actually as we start learning we start becoming more proficient in programming we can create much more complex programs you know like server programming or web web development or artificial intelligence course uh, artificial intelligence program or uh, game development we can do so many things with programming okay so now let's understand what exactly is the program which we have written okay so what we did is we defined some names right placeholder names okay pi is a name r is a name area is a name these are kind of a placeholder these like these are like the containers which are holding values and in programming terms we call these containers as variables okay we call them variables so variables lets us hold the value we can also change the value right so variable uh, uh, you can assign any value then you can change this value and again you can assign to the same variable like i can say pi is equal to this thing and then i can say oh okay let's make pi value two times of its original value i can say this also okay i can say this also or i can say okay radius is this thing let me bump the radius to two times I can say r is equal to r plus r. Okay, I can say all that. So variable value can change. Or I can say uh, r once r is 250. In the next line, I can say, okay, r plus 100. So in, in, at this point, what is the value of r? 
What is the value R is holding? Two fifty. Okay, so R is holding value two fifty here. Very good. Now we once we execute this line, then what we are doing is we are adding hundred to the value which R is holding, and we are assigning the whole value to R again. So after this line, what will the value of R? Three fifty. Three fifty. Very good. Yes. So see. Uh, that's why we call them variables right the values can change okay and when the program execution happens the program execution happens from top to bottom from top to down right so this is the direction of the program execution and uh, uh, this is my basically a variable which i have defined here similarly i have defined another variable r and here i am defined third variable called area and to area we are assigning assigning the value of the circle by multiplying three different values so what are we exactly doing we are doing arithmetic operation right are we doing arithmetic operation or not we are multiplying a number with another number right so we are doing mathematic mathematical operation here and then the result of this expression we are assigning it to area okay so uh, to assign we are saying equals okay that's how the value of whatever is calculated here will be assigned to area so assignment always happens from right to left okay it's not that value of area will be assigned to this it will not happen okay so whatever the value is here it will be assigned to area and then here we are printing but exactly when we are printing what are we doing here what is print here oh uh, sir it's uh, doing the operation which is just above this line which is area equals to pi into radius into radius mm -hmm. so then it's going to print the answer of this inc is equation yeah. yes yes yeah so it is it is printing the answer on the screen okay this is my screen it is printing it so actually the print here is actually a function okay whose functionality is to print any value on the screen okay so what what all did we understand in this program what all did we do in this program so what are variables in this in this program pi and radius pi area even the radius are the variables okay and what is the function we are using here print print is a function which we are using here right and another thing which we did was we did a mathematical operation to calculate the area and then we used assignment operation where we assigned the calculation value of this expression to area right and to assign that we used equal okay so equal is called assignment operator because it is letting us assign the value of one to another okay so you are assigning the value to the variable area okay now there is one more thing here do you see these lines do you see these lines which have hash in them okay these are nothing but they are called comments okay these lines are called comments the reason we use comments is to document our code to write our documentation okay to explain our code let's say this uh, code has pretty much just the four lines so it's simple but you know what when you start writing in the real life the code runs even in million lines of code you know that lots and lots of codes are written for building complex systems now for those kind of uh, systems which is so complicated with 
many files and a lot of programs these comments helps us explain the programs okay so these comments are used for documentation okay you you use documentation to explain something right so these comments are for that purpose you use them to explain document or your program okay that is what is the purpose of comments okay now uh, now we are going to actually uh, write another program which is basically swapping of two numbers okay now first can you tell me what is swapping okay so swapping is assigning basically interchanging the values okay so here what we have de de uh, defined is we value. type this code sorry yeah just yeah. just a second yeah, yeah you can write this code but let's first understand this okay uh, maybe this this code you can write it later i'm just explaining you you will have to write another code which i'll tell you in, in a bit but let's just understand what is swapping. So swapping is interchanging the numbers. Now A has 10 and B has 20, right? When we swap the values, we want the value of A to become 20 and value of B to become 10. Okay. So if this is a program, how would you do that? If you have to create a program for swapping the numbers, Swapping two numbers, how will you do that? Uh, sir, it uh, it will print the value of A as B, and then it will print the value of B as A. Yeah, it, it will. But if we, let's say, if we say, okay, I want to swap this value, and I we say, okay, uh, let A hold the value of B, and let B hold the value of A, is if you do this way, this program will not work correctly. Can you tell me why this will not work correctly? Sir, because it's not defined with the values. No, we have defined the values. No, A and B are defined. And we can very well assign the values, right? Equal to, if we mark equal to, we can very well assign the values. Right? So I told you, right? Assignment happens from right to left. So the value of B will be assigned to A, correct? Right. So when we execute this line, what will happen to the value of A? The value of A will become equal to the value of B. But what will happen to the original value of A? That value will be lost. Correct. Because A was holding 10 here. As soon as we said A is equal to B, the value of B, which is 20, will get assigned to A. So A will become 20 here. Right? But this 10 is lost because we have not stored this value. So if you do this line, okay, A is equal to B, both variables A and B will become the same. And this is, this is another uh, uh, it will, this will also do the same thing. This Here A has become 20, B was anyway 20 and here again the value of A we are assigning to B which is 20 only, right? So both A and B will become 20, 20. If you don't, if you want to test it out, you can just print value of A and then we can print the value of B. Okay, and see what happens. Uh, let, I will just come in this so that this is not confusing. Okay, so I was telling you about the comments, right? So when you comment the code, Python will not execute those comments. Comments is just for us to read. Python will execute only the program which you've written, which is not commented. So now I'm just going to run this. To run this, I go to shell and run shell okay so when i run the cell then you see both a and b have become 2020 correct 
So we have lost the value of A. You assign the value of B. Now if we have to swap the value, what we should do? We have to find a way to hold the value of A, right, in some way? Database. Okay, the database is, is uh, very advanced. For this, you don't need the database, okay? Database is for persistent storage, permanent storage, okay? Persistent or permanent, okay? But here, what you just simply have to do is, you define a third variable. Let's say we define a third variable set as C. Okay, and then to C, we assign a value A, right? So now C will be holding value of A, and when we assign this value to B, the value of A is not lost. The value of A is present to C, correct? The value of A is copied to C. But to complete the swap, what should we do now? So it will print the value of C, which is A, 10. Yeah, but we want uh, to complete, we want to swap the value, right? We want the value of A to go in B. What should we do here? If we, if we want value of A to go into B. Ankush, you're there. Yes, so my mobile is going to switch off, sir. Only one person charge. Why don't you put it on charge? So I put it on charge, like from the laptop, but but still, the still the battery is going. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Actually, you probably should have connected from uh, laptop. No worries, you can uh, switch off your video. Nothing to worry. But you are understanding the question, right? You can always. Uh, Tell the answer if you know, right? So, so Ishan, you're understanding, right? So here, by doing this line, we are able to save the value of A. We are able to save the value of A in C so that we, when we execute this line, the value of A is not lost. The value of A remains in C. But now, if we want B to contain the value of A, what should we do? Sir. Yeah, tell me, if you want B to hold the value of A, get the value of A, what should we do? Think. Think about the assignment. Okay, so let's go through the code line by line, the way computer will execute, okay? The way Python will execute this. So these two lines are clear, right? The value of A will become 10 and the value of B will become 20. Now here in this line, C is equal to A, what is happening is the assignment will happen as I'm saying from left from right to left so what is on the right side of this statement of this line what is on the right side A. A. So, so C is not defined so that's why there will be an error okay in Python uh, it will work fine okay in Python you can actually define by assigning a value also in Swift or other programming languages, you have to define the type, and that's a different thing. I think in Swift, you use var, correct? Remember that, right? Yeah, so in uh, Python, you don't have to use anything. As when you assign the value, you it knows. And the, and the good part in, in Python is actually you can change the value. I have assigned value of a is 10, which was an integer, but I can change to a string. Okay. This is all possible. Python won't create any problem, right? So, so you but you you thought thought correctly, but from a different language perspective, in Python this is fine. Okay, you can actually 
initialize C or define C by assigning the value which is being held in A. Okay, so A is holding value 10. So what will C contain? Ten. Yes, very good, very good, yeah. So C will contain the value 10, right? So now you see C has this value 10 and when we execute this line, what happens? A and B both become 20, but C is holding 10, okay? Now if we want B to get value of A, what should we do? Uh, B will be equal to the value of C. Excellent. Excellent. That is how you do the swap. So this is what you have to do. And now if I run this, you get the right results. See? Right? I'm printing value of A and I'm printing value of B. Great job, Divishri. Great job. Let's give a big hand to Divishri. She has cracked a very good problem. Well done. Well done. Okay, so that's how you do the swap. Okay. You bring in a temporary variable and you have learned a very good concept. Very good. Similarly, but if you have to do the same thing in Python way, Python provides you a simple way, right? Simpler to swap, you just say x comma y is equal to y comma x. That's all. The swap is done. And I'm just printing these uh, x and y. Okay, so you see, this is before swap. I will just mention this also. Before swap. And here, I will just mention this text as after swap. Okay. Now, if I run this, run shell. See, before swap, the values were a 10 and 20, and after swap, value becomes 20 and 10. This is a Python way of uh, swapping, but it is happening for a reason which you will uh, discover later once you become more proficient in Python. Okay. Now we come to uh, another very useful function called input. Okay. So input will let you take user input. We were saying right in area of the circle, we were saying if you want to take the area, uh, the radius value from the user, how do you do that? So input is the answer. Okay. Input is the answer. So here, if we wanted user to enter the area, uh, sorry, enter the radius, we could have just said input. And we can ask, please enter the radius. Yeah, so. Okay, so now if we run this, see what happens. So run area circle. So now see it is asking the same text which I mentioned, please enter the radius. Let's say if I enter 50 and now because I've entered 50 here, the radius value will become 50. And once I do that, and, uh, one more thing is you have to convert it into integer because you want to do mathematical operation to convert it into integer you have to say int okay integer you understand right you all know what is integer right so now if i say 50 now i've converted it into integer see it's the same value which we're getting but you have not get, got the ability to read the input from the user okay so that's how the input function works right so let's say if i just run this i just delete this so when i when i run this what will happen what will happen here if i run this shell if i run this line of codes line by line what will happen what will this line do It's 
so I'm going to ask the user to uh, enter his or her name. Very good, very good, excellent. That's what it's going to do. See, it's asking, what is your name? So let's say uh, I write, uh, my name is Anjay, right? So, so it is printing that name. You can just ignore it for time being. It is, your name is Dhananjay. That's what is printing. Your name is Dhananjay, right? So I'll just comment this so that's not confusing. Okay, and then it's asking me, what is your age? So let's say my age is 35. So it says, okay, you will be 100 years old in 65 years. Okay. But sir, how do you know you're gonna live that long? Sorry, sorry. Okay, I don't, how do you know that uh, uh, I will live that long? Okay, I hope to live that long, right? So uh, I, everybody wants to, I think everybody wants to live long, right? So that's how, so now I'll, I'll just, Write this again, okay. Okay, so your name is Dhananjay and let's say my age is 35. You'll be 100 years old in 65 years. Okay, so this my this program is taking user's input and doing some meaningful operation. It is telling basically how long you will take to reach 100. Okay, so this is how you can actually take the input. This is another very useful function which Python provides us, right? So that is what you can actually even try. I will share these notes with you. You can try these functions at home, okay? So we are basically coming to an end of this class, right? So um, basically we have just got two minutes. If you have any question, you can ask me. Uh, sir, for the before code, which was like it, uh, the X and Y, mm -hmm. so isn't X and Y the coordinates? Like Y is the... Yeah, so X and Y uh, generally is a coordinate system. But here, as a variable name, you can use anything, any name. This Instead of X and Y, like the way we use A and B here, for variable name, you can use anything. I can also say first value right i can say second value i can do all that okay and then but i have to replace this all here first value second value right like that we have to do it it can be any name you can give any name to the variables which you are defining and you you, have, you define a lot of variables in your computer program because you want to hold a lot of values, do a lot of calculations, a lot of operations, so you can do that. So see, I have changed X and Y to first value and second value. Now if I run it, I'll get the same result. So run Ishan, same thing I'm getting, okay. Okay, Ishan, you had a question. Sir, I understood, sir. Okay, okay, fine, so, Fine, so. Sir, uh, will yeah. we be typing this code? Yeah, so I will uh, send these notes to you and you should uh, type this code and get used to it. See, uh, Python programming, computer programming is a very useful thing. You can see, you can solve so many big problems, right? Uh, by writing code, right? And you become very good at it by practicing. So programming is something like your maths. How do you become good at maths? By practicing more and more different scenarios, different questions, right? Same as programming. So you have to uh, write these code, understand what this code is doing, and then accordingly you can, you'll understand Python more, okay? So, so with that, we come to the end, and you know who is this person? Can you identify this person? Yeah, Ishan. So it's uh, Steve Jobs, the first uh, uh, CEO of Apple. Yes, yes, yes. He's Steve Jobs. The he's the founder of Apple. Yeah, he's the founder of Apple. Yeah. So he had a friend who who used to code, right? Steve. What was Steve Wozniak. Yes. Yeah, Wozniak. Wozniak. He used yes. to make. Um, he used to code, right? Yeah, yeah. So he basically founded Apple Computer. Okay, the which the computer which you're using. He is the person who brought it into existence. 
Okay, the so nine. This specific. one which uh, this one which I am using was because of Bill Gates. Bill Gates, a... yes, because of Bill Gates, correct. So Divishri is using Mac. Okay, and uh, even iPhone uh, was his creation, Steve Jobs. And see what he says: everyone should learn how to code. It teaches you how to think. Okay. So the way we know, learn maths and science, even English, because those are the useful things, important things for us to do well. No, similarly, now the new tool or new thing which you should have, you should know is programming, the coding. Okay, so you should learn so coding. Like very well. has even made some uh, like a group which is named Learn to Code or Code to Learn. I forgot. It's something like this. Yes, yes, correct. White hat? You know, there's a white hat junior thing. Yeah, there is a white hat junior. So that is another platform for coding. Okay. So this is what he says, right? So that's how we should try out. I will send you this recording and I will also send you uh, these notes. These notes, this note has some assignments in it. You can take a look. Okay. And then you try out these assignments. There's some reading also, operating system, client server, IP address, what is AI. There are some links to it, okay? You just try out these links. You just read through it. You have to start becoming more and more familiar with the technology, with the systems, okay? So that uh, you, know, you become very comfortable when it comes to technology, okay? Okay, so I think we come to an end and you all have been a very good students and you participated in the class very well. Great job. So let's give a round of applause to ourselves. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. And have a nice Independence Day. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a great day. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye.